Like, I don't do this for the money. Um, I wish I did, and that's why I treat it like a job. Like, I treat it like a job because I want it to be a job. Okay, so I also wanted to add into this video about um, my upload schedule. Like, my goal is always three videos a week, but honestly, um, I want to not have pressure on me, so it might be two videos a week. Hi, guys. Good morning. It is 7.10 a.m. It's a little earlier than that because my clock is fast. But I'm going to head to the Raw Juice Bar in Orlando. Guys, I don't know why. After I had that initial first, like, raw green juice, which, if you're not following me on Instagram, you wouldn't know that because I was a little bit more active on Instagram. I'll talk about that a little a later into this little video, this little impromptu video because I have literally nothing else to post for this week. So I'm going to go get my juice and then we're going to do like a little car chat juice vlog, I guess. Um, my hair is looking wild because I got out of a cycle bar and yeah. Anyway, going to get on the road to get the juice. The place opens at 7.30, which is good because that gives me just enough time to like, you know, finish everything, get ready, and then drive over there. This place is like really close to my work, so it's really convenient as well. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna head over there now. I just wanted to start out the video and say hey. Hair still looking a little crazy here because it's still a little damp from my sweat. But um, got the green juice. This one is um, the Green Goddess version and it has kale, apple, pineapple um, to cleanse and purify your body. And this stuff is like kind of expensive, not gonna lie. That's why I actually like drink it and stuff. They made them yesterday. They were all out of the um, mean, green, and lean. Apparently that one sells out fast, which I'm kind of glad I got to try it. But I'm gonna try this one. I'm a little nervous, but it's fine. It's probably like similar to the other one. Yeah, it's pretty similar. It's just a little bit sweeter because it has the pineapple in there. Honestly, I kind of like this one better. And you can taste the apple too. So this is really good. Kind of wanted to talk to you guys about like my feelings on YouTube because I'm kind of just like burned out in a way. And partly it is because like I'm just views or not is like where I'd want them even though if you scroll back on my videos some of them a lot of them are doing a lot better so that's good but also a lot of people are like unsubbing so it's just a little like disheartening but it's fine that's YouTube that's life um so it is what it is but it just like is discouraging and like it makes you go like oh why like but whatever, you know, maybe it's because most of those people, um, came from my adoption stuff and I don't really do adoption stuff. Maybe it's because of like some commentary, like the video I made about the stoffers. I never really thought I would get that this far as I have on YouTube. So like, it's really good, um, that I have, but I don't know. I just wanted to like open up and like share my thoughts because um, I want to shift my mindset on this channel. I want to shift it to like not caring as much, you know, like, yes, I do partly for the money, but I need to like reset and get the mindset that I had a while ago when I had 7,000 subscribers of, because like, I love doing this and I don't want to like get boggled down um, just because of like numbers because I never in a million years thought I would even get a viral video I could have never imagined that for myself So like that really randomly happened it happened in a really good time too. not gonna lie because like I was You know going through sad time with like, you know the pandemic the all of the things going on in the world pretty much boys, you know, so I'm like that, like when my channel blew up was really really good so the timing was perfect so it's almost like I felt like I really needed that um 
but I never once expected to get to where I am now. So I guess if like I get down to like 37, like that's more than I ever could have dreamed of. But you know, it's just like, I want to be open with you guys. I want to just say it how it is. Like this sucks, man. Like <laughs> I don't know what I have to do. And I wanted to bring up this topic too. I miss YouTube the way it used to be with like the saturated, cool, fun intros. Like that's what made me love videography. And it's not like I couldn't do that now, but it's just not in style. And like, you know, this, this whole like it's, I think it was like ever since Emma Chamberlain hit the internet, it was just like this whole like different vibe shifted on the internet. And I don't like it. Like, I'm just flat out say like, I like the bright, colorful, saturated, good videography. Like, does this take a lot of effort? No. But I, I liked having working on a video and like having it be like cool angles and have someone like film me like I think that's awesome like I think that's so fun and like I'm not gonna do that for like no one to watch it like let's be real so I just I don't know and YouTube now I mean I guess I watch a lot of commentary because I'm genuinely interested but I wish there was like better people to like watch like I don't know like who's out there like I I mean I watch commentary because I find them interesting in like what they have to say and I think this is where like it's shifting into I think this is why podcasts have gotten just so big because of listening to things in the car because I listen to podcasts in the car like I don't listen to music anymore um pretty much which I mean is kind of weird but I like podcasts I like listening to people talk instead of like music I don't know why it's just I've gotten into that guys this one's really good I like this one a lot better than the other one. And there's a cool Tesla parking behind me. So, yeah. My thoughts are, I have YouTube burnout. And um, that's why this week's episodes, episodes, <laughs> these week, this week's uploads have kind of just been a little bit sparse. Um, because... I don't know. I'm just like tired and, um, we had company in town as you guys know, but I still worked, but my aunt was still here and we were like busy and doing things. And like, I don't know. I'm just tired. I was just kind of tired from that and I'm still kind of tired from that. So that's why I just wanted to break. And then like, you know, every time I just open up the app, it's just like, Oh, the subs are like, feels like it's dwindling down. And I'm just like, okay, whatever. Cause there's nothing I can do about that. But I want to know who you guys watch because like right now I watch a couple family vloggers I know hate me unsub for me whatever um I watch Gretchen Garrity I like her but half of these people like are just like unrelatable because like I can't spend the money they spend like even though I'm here like with a juice that costs like way too much money these things are expensive these things cost like $11 at least I had that coupon for a dollar off, but like, at least it's good for me too. So I'm not going to complain. Man, the juice bar be hopping. Let's take Gretchen for example. Like I love her channel. I think she's really positive and I like listening to her talk, everything. I love her podcast, but like, how can she like spend so much money? Like, I'm like, whoa girl social media must be great for you it's like I'm over here like barely making it I mean no I'm lucky to make anything online like I know most people don't so I should just be grateful for what I have which I am grateful like I'm not saying that I'm ungrateful but I'm just like letting letting it out because again I want to shift my mindset about this channel I want it to be real I want to tell you guys how I'm feeling you know like I want to be like your companion in your car or when you're making food or whatever because that's what I like to watch and I would want someone to also do that you know what I mean I don't know if I'm making any sense but the YouTube burnout is real I don't know like who are the good content creators now because like I get it Alicia and Remy and Mia, they've all, they all still, like, produce content for the internet, but they've kind of, like, 
you know, moved on. Like, I've moved on. So, I don't know. What are you guys watching? I can't watch, like, university vlogs or college vlogs because, like, I'm not in college anymore. So, I don't know. What is out there, guys? Like, also, I know this is, like, changing subject really quick. I've been reading so many books and... Um, I read all three of Rachel Hollis's books, which I know don't come for me. I know she's kind of controversial and like, I mean, even though she's controversial, it doesn't mean like I can't take stuff from her book. You know what I mean? And I got it on Amazon, so I don't know if she gets any like kickback from that, but I wanted to read her book because so many other people have. And like now since like I, I feel like I'm a better reader and I can read faster, <laughs> so I just wanted to like read her books, so I did. Um, and they were like, they're really helpful. I like them. So again, I don't know your opinion on her, but, um, I like her books. Like I can say that and I read them all and they were enjoyable. They were not hard reads to be honest. So that's good. This one is so good. Oh my gosh. So, um, this is also another side note the lady that was like serving the juice to me and my cycle bar instructor, she was like, even though it's like weird and it's not like the best tasting thing because, okay, uh, after I had my first green juice, I was like in love with it in a weird way. Like I didn't necessarily like, does Starbucks taste better? Yes. But I couldn't stop thinking about this and it was just so good. And like I felt good after and it tasted like good and bad at the same time. I'm not gonna lie but both of the people that I've like told about green juice they're like you're thinking that because your body likes it. It's almost craving like the nutrients and everything that comes from this. That's why you like it even though it doesn't taste that good because your body likes it you know what I mean? So anyway, that's like going off way left field from the conversation about like YouTube and like all that. But I'm going to steer away from that again because I got this new book and it's called Thank God for Bitcoin. I'm going to start reading it today probably. The Creation, Corruption, and Redemption of Money. So hopefully this is good. Like I just saw a girl post on Instagram. So I'm like, oh, I kind of want to read that. Like I want to know about the Bitcoin, so I'm going to read that, and um, what else do I want to say? Yeah, I just miss the old YouTube. That's pretty much what I'm saying. And I miss, you know, being able to, like, clickbait a video and, like, get a lot of views. Well, a lot of views for me. Um, and yeah, like, I just don't really know what else to say. I am gonna try to change my mindset about YouTube and do it just because I like to do it not because and I never did it for anyone else but like I think I was so focused on you know revenue and um, like subscribers um, because I always have been focused on that and I kind of forgot like why I started doing it, you know, like I got wrapped up in the numbers as people say, which is important. But like, as you guys know, like this isn't my primary source of income by any means. I'm very lucky, but this is not like, I don't do this for the money. Um, I wish I did. And that's why I treat it like a job. Like I treat it like a job because I want it to be a job. Um, but I don't want to like lose sight and I don't want to get boggled down just because of like some numbers because you know okay so last thing I wanted to talk about I want to talk about raw vegan or bad vegan <laughs> I was thinking raw because I'm drinking like the raw juice here um bad vegan is on Netflix it's like a series and it is so good guys like you need to go watch it the lady that got taken advantage of Sarma she does not like the ending. I don't like the ending either because like I was super, super confused, but overall like the story and the message, it's about like another scammer and stuff. So it's just so good. I highly recommend you watch it. And like 
you know, she inspires you to get like raw juice like this. Um, because she was like super healthy and like vegan and everything. Even if I wanted to start eating healthier, um, I don't think I would be like full on vegan because like I still buy like leather products and I will never like give up meat, but I wanted, but I want to like incorporate more things like this into my diet because I think it's beneficial just all around and I like it. Again, this one's like so good. I know I've like said that 500 times, but I think that is going to be it for this video. That's kind of just what I wanted to say that I'm kind of like bummed about YouTube, but I'm working on changing my mindset about it because I don't want it to be a place of like negativity and stuff. I want it to be like fun and you know, just a place to hang out. So anyway, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it at all. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.